Hello guys. Now in this video, let's configure Azure AD authentication for service to service that is S2S call. So what is our requirement? So again guys, if you see, we have this finance app and it has the APIs and we have some other app that is HR app and this HR app, it wants to consume the APIs from this finance app. So here, if you see one service is calling APIs of other service and a user is not calling the API. But then we need to make sure that HR app, it should be authenticated to consume these APIs. So we already have web API project that is finance app. It is running in Visual Studio. And now we want to consume these APIs from HR app. Okay. So now in order to configure Azure AD authentication, what steps we will perform? So the first thing, we will create app registration for finance app. Again, app registration will create it in Azure tenant. Then we will expose API and then we will create role that is app role dot read. So we will create this role so that we should be able to assign this role to our HR app. Okay. Then we will create app registration for our HR app. And then we will provide the API permissions to access the APIs of finance app. Okay. And finally, we will configure tenant ID, the client ID of finance app in Visual Studio. So that should complete Azure AD authentication for our finance application. And then guys, and guys, as far as this video is concerned, we will just configure Azure AD authentication only, but in our upcoming videos, Let's generate JWT token and we will call API of this finance app. And again, we will call this API from Postman. And again, as you know, in this series Postman, it is acting as our client application. And now let's go to the Azure portal. So guys, we are in Azure portal and let's click on this Microsoft Entra ID. So we are in default directory that is the tenant which we have been working so far. Now let's click on these applications. Let's say new registration and here let's add, add entry for our finance app. So I'll say finance app and I will say register. And as this application will contain our APIs which will be consumed by the HR app, right? So here we need to expose APIs. So let's click on this expose an API. And here I will say add and I will say save. So basically here we are adding application ID URI. So we have this application ID URI so that our service that is HR service, it will be able to uniquely identify this finance app in tenant. See guys, this Azure tenant, it can contain multiple applications, right? And the APIs will be hosted in this finance app. So the service which is actually consuming the APIs from this finance app, it should be able to find out or identify this finance app. So it will identify this application, which has APIs using this application ID URI. Okay. So here, let's say save. Let's close. Let's close this. And now we need to add app roles as well. So let's click on this app roles and here I will say create app role and here I will say app role dot read. And again, guys, as this is service to service authentication, that means we will be assigning this role to some other service that is to some other application. So let's say applications over here. Let's copy this name. Let's paste it over here, here. And here I will say apply. So that's it guys, as far as creating this backend app, that is finance app is concerned. And again, it will contain our APIs. And now let's add app registration for our HR app. Okay. So here let's duplicate this tab. Let's click on home. Microsoft Entra ID. Let's go to these applications. And here I will say new registration. 
and here I will say HR app and now let's say register now let's click on this API permissions and let's click on this add a permission let's click on this APIs my organization uses and here let's select our finance app so yes we can see it so let's select it let's go down and here we can see the app role so let's select this app role so that means we are providing the permission and this app app role to this HR app to consume the APIs from finance app okay so here let's say add permissions and let's close this and one more thing guys we need to do is let's click on this grant admin consent and here let's say yes and let's close this now guys again you can see this HR app it will be consuming the APIs from this finance app right so this finance app and this HR app so they represent app registration and those app registrations will be present in tenant right but then how finance app will come to know that the caller is HR app only I mean we may we need to make sure that only authenticated service should be able to consume API from this finance app right so to trust this finance app that the caller is actually HR app only what HR app will do is while generating the requested token it will provide the client id so of course we know that every app registration has client id but in addition it will provide the client secret as well so hrf will say hey finance app this is my client id and this is my client secret so you can verify and once so finance app will verify that the client id and secret are valid and then it will authenticate this hrf to consume the api okay so we need to create client secret as well for this HR app so let's again go to the Azure portal so again we are in this HR app so let's click on this cert certificates and secrets and let's say new client secret so here I will say HR app secret and let's say add so guys, this is the secret okay and make sure that you copy and paste it somewhere so let me copy it and i will paste it in notepad so that's it guys as far as configuring these applications are concerned and now let's go back to our visual studio and let's make required configuration changes over there so guys, we are in Visual Studio and this is the finance app that is web API project which we have created. So let's open this app settings.json and we need to make two changes over here. So we need to provide the tenant ID. So again, let's go to the Azure portal. So let's click on home, Microsoft enter ID. And let's copy this tenant ID and we need to provide the client id as well and of course as this is our finance app that is it has the api so let's provide the client id of our finance app so again let's go to the azure portal and let's go to this finance app so let's go to this overview let's copy this client id and let's paste it over here now guys, let's go to this finance app controller. So if you remember in our previous video, we have added this allow anonymous, but now of course we need to implement Azure radio authentication. So let's simply disable this and let's go to the top and guys see this required scope. So we don't need this scope as well. So in simple words, consider the scope is there when these apis are authenticated by users that is for user authenticated api scope is there so let's get rid of this and let's go to this authorize and here i will say roles so guys you remember we created one app role as well right and we assigned that app role to our hr app so let's go to the azure portal let's open applications 
ऑल एप्लीकेशन्स एच आर ऐप ए पी आई परमिशन्स सी गाइज दिस ऐप रोल डॉट रीड सो लेट्स कॉपी दिस रोल एंड लेट्स प्लेस इट ओवर इट सो दैट मीन्स इन ऑर्डर टू कंज्यूम दिस ए पी आई दैट इज गेट बी यू नेट प्रॉफिट दैट एप्लीकेशन हिट्स दैट एप्लीकेशन शुड हैव दिस रोल दैट इज ऐप रोल डॉट रीड ओके सो दैट्स इट गाइज and this completes the azure ad authentication okay and now let's go back to our ppt again and now in our upcoming videos let us generate jwt token and let us call the api of this finance app thank you